hi guys you're welcome back to my channel all right so we're going to be making this lovely shift dress you can also call it a free boo boo okay so um this is it on me all right so it's going to be a very detailed easy and straightforward video as usual okay so um let's jump right into the video all right so i'm going to be drafting mine on a pattern paper so that my explanations will be clearer now i'll go ahead and mark my neck width and i'm using 3.5 inches as my neck width and my shoulder is 16 inches divided by 2 give us 8 okay so i marked neck width 3.5 shoulder of 8 inches and the sleeve length that i want is 7.5 inches so i'll go ahead and make a mark there okay so um now i'll go over it again we use the neck width of 3.5 shoulder of 8 and the sleeve length of 7.5 so that's a total of 15.5 inches now the neck depth for the back is 1.5 inches okay and the neck depth for the front is four inches now we're going to be drafting the back and the front at the same time so i come in with my curve ruler and we'll first connect the neck depth for the back okay and here we have it now we'll proceed to connect the neck depth of the front as well using my curve ruler all right and here we have it um let's proceed now from our 15.5 inches that we have on the starting point i'll come down by 1.5 inches okay now with my straight ruler we're connecting from the 1.5 inches to the neck width and that will be our shoulder slope okay so let's proceed now we'll go ahead and mark our vertical measurements so all our measurements We'll place our tape on the starting point and not on the shoulder slope all right so my boss point is 10 inches okay and my waist line or my waist length is 16 inches now okay so um my hip length is 24 inches so i'll go ahead and make a mark there now, I initially set out to use a dress length of 38 inches, but I ended up changing my mind. So I made use of a dress length of 35 plus 2 inches hemming allowance. So that's 37. Okay. So I repeat my marking on the other side as well. Bust point of 10, waist length of 16, hip length of 24, and the dress length of 35 plus 2 inches um, hemming allowance now we'll go ahead and connect this horizontal um we'll go ahead and connect these measurements okay like i'm doing all right and here we have it now we'll proceed to label so this is the boss point i will label it with bp and that's my waist length and the hip length okay so automatic the end of the pattern paper is our hem line all right now let's impute our boss round. So the boss round we're working with is 40 inches. 40 inches divided by 4 will give us 10. Now we're adding 1 inch ease and another 1 inch um, sewing allowance. So total we have 2 inches. Okay. Now we'll repeat the same thing on the hip line. We're ignoring the waist length. Okay. So on my hip, the hip round we're working with is 44. 44 divided by 4 will give us 11. We're also adding 1 inch ease and 1 inch sewing allowance. So a total of 13 inches. Now we're going to mark the 13 inches on the hem line. Okay. So whatever you have on your hip length with your allowance, everything inclusive, you repeat that marking on your hem line. Okay. So I'm marking my 11 inches plus the 2 inches allowance. Okay. So I'll go ahead now and connect. Now, if you want yours to be slightly to be um, a bit flared, okay, to have a little bit of A-line shape, you can, um, instead of marking the exact thing you have on your hip length, you can add extra one inch just to flare out that side, but I wanted mine straight, okay? So I've connected from the hemline to the hip using a straight line. Now, using a slight curve, 
I'm connecting from the hip length to my bust point line. Okay, remember I said that we are ignoring the waist length because I want the dress to be slightly fitted, okay? A bit free, so I don't need the waist length. Alright, so I'm connecting from the hip length to my bust point line using a slight curve. As you can see, I'm done with that. Alright, so I'll go ahead and blend every sharp point. Okay, now let's proceed with our markings. All right, now we'll go ahead and measure what we have on the starting point from the neck width to our sleeve length. We have 15.5. Now I'll go ahead and mark that also so that we can get a straight line for our round sleeve. All right, so I'll go ahead and connect this first using a straight line. And here we have it. Now, um, the round sleeve that I want is 8 inches. So I'll make a mark on our line. Okay. So I'll go ahead and make a mark on that 8 inches that we just measured. And I'll square that line inwards. Okay. Now let's proceed. So on this line, we're going to come inwards by 1 inch because I want to slant that side a bit. So I just came in was by one inch and I'll connect it to the shoulder tip using a straight line. Okay, and here we have it. Now it's time for us to um, blend that side. Okay, so I'll go ahead and extend our original line upwards to meet our 8 inch mark. All right, so from that line, I will come down by two inches okay so i just cleaned off the initial line so that we will not be confused so from the line i came down by two inches and at the intercept i'll come out by one inch okay because we need to make an arc there okay so from the intercept i came out by one inch now i'll go ahead and use my free hand to connect from our one inch um slope to the two inches that we came down with just like I am doing and here we have it we are actually done with this pattern okay so I'll use my colored pen to highlight that side and that's it we are done okay remember that we had earlier added our sewing allowance of one inch to all our round measurements okay so and that's it now I'll go ahead and mark my pockets because I'm going to be adding pockets so from the Bust point line, I came down by 8 inches and my pocket opening is 7 inches. So I just made a mark there. Now when it's time to transfer to fabric, I will notch these two points so that I will know. Alright, so and that's it. Now I'll go ahead and add my allowances. Okay, so just a quick recap. Um, our neck measurements, neck width of 3.5. Um, shoulder of 8, sleeve length of 7.5, totaling 15.5 inches, okay? We sloped the shoulder with 1.5 inches and um, our sleeve round is 8 inches, okay? We marked our bust length and on the bust length I marked my bust round and I added 1 inch ease and 1 inch sewing allowance. I repeated the same thing on the hip length, marked my hip round, added 1 inch ease and 1 inch hemming allowance. Now, I marked exactly what I have on the hip length. I marked it on the hemline, okay? So, it's the same. Now, um, to get the armhole curve, at the intercept, I came out with 1 inch and I connected. So, I slanted the, the sleeve round, okay, with 1 inch. And it's not compulsory as well. So, I'll go ahead now and add my half inch um, joining. Okay, my half inch sewing allowance round. All right, and here we have it. Now I will still use my marker to darken that side. Okay, so I simply added half inch um, as my sewing allowance. Okay, on the the sleeve round, and half inch also on the shoulder line for um for the joining. Okay, now I'll go ahead and add my half inch on the neck on the neckline okay so um this will be for the turning now i'll add it on the back neck depth and i'll also add it on the front neck depth as well okay and
and here we have it um the pattern is ready for cutting okay so we have all our allowances added to the pattern now i'll proceed with my scissors and we will cut out this pattern <music> So we're done cutting out now i'll bring the fabric and um we'll continue okay so this is the fabric that we're working with um it's two yards so i'll go ahead now and fold it into four then pin down my pattern on it all right so here it is i have pinned it so i first folded it into four like i explained okay and i pinned down the pattern on it so i'll proceed to cut out okay remember that we have all our allowances already added to the pattern so we're simply cutting out exactly the pattern and here it is we're done now we first cut out the neckline of the back okay so i'll go ahead and notch the pocket um marks that we have already on the pattern now i'll proceed to take off the pins so that we can separate um the back from the front okay then you also need to notch the center um, point. All right, so I'm done taking off the pins. Now we will go ahead and separate the two of them. So I will just take out um, one, okay, so that we can work um, on the front. All right, so we will bring back the pattern paper so that we will reshape the front neckline, okay? But I want to um, first turn the fabric to the wrong side. All right, so I have the pattern paper pinned on the front piece now. So I'll go ahead to cut out the neckline for the front. And here it is. So we'll proceed now to bring our pieces for our facing. All right, so here it is. I have just this tiny piece of fabric left okay not left but just one of the pieces all right so i'll first go ahead and fold it into two now we're aligning the folded part of the front fabric to the folded side of the facing okay so i'll go ahead and pin this down as usual you guys know i like to pin so now i want the width of the facing to be three inches so i'll go ahead and make a mark at the three inches point okay then i'll come in with my scissors and we're going to cut the neckline exactly okay so when cutting out a facing the first thing you're doing is to cut out your neckline okay now i'll go ahead and take off the the front fabric so that we can um reshape the shape the facing fabric okay all right so i told us that the that the width of the facing is three inches but the front fabric is going to have a slit now the slit length that i want is four inches so i'll go ahead and make a mark on the four inches and i'll also mark an extra 1.5 inches okay so the length of the facing for the front is 5.5 inches okay with a width of three inches so i'll go ahead and just connect my three inches all through okay to the length of 5.5 and here we have it now i'll go ahead and pin down first then i'll cut this out all right so um this is the facing now i'll i'll proceed to iron down my interfacing on the facing okay just to give it a little bit of stability all right i'm laughing because of the rhyme I mean interfacing and facing okay so now i'll iron down my interfacing on our facing piece okay and we're going to go ahead and stitch around the neckline using the half inch that we left now remember i told us that the front is going to have a slit and the slit length is four inches okay so i'll go ahead and mark um our half inch round okay so and um, i'll mark the slit length of four inches now um we're going to go away from the center line by 0 0.25 okay so we're connecting 0 0.25 from each side okay to meet the four inches length 
all right so here is the facing i have ironed down my heste interfacing on it all right and i have also marked our half inch sewing allowance around the neckline okay and i connected it down to the slit length of four inches so i'll go ahead and stitch this on my sewing machine now this is the back facing as well i cut out the same thing width of three inches okay so i'll use half inch to um to stitch it round on the neckline now when i'm done i will i will trim it down to 0.25 or you can notch just so that that area can relax well then i'll press it down well all right and when we're done i will join the shoulder using the half inch allowance that we left okay and here it is i have joined the shoulder i have um turned the neckline with the facing okay i also went ahead to attach um my pocket now the two years is not enough so i ended up using another fabric as my pocket now i have also marked our one inch sewing allowance that we left okay so i have it marked on this side i repeated the same marking on the other side all right and when it's time i'll go ahead and stitch on the exact line now let's look at the turn up so I went ahead to cut out um, this piece of fabric. It's measuring two inches and it's unfold. Okay, so it means that if I open it up, it's four inches, but it's unfold now, so it's two inches. Okay, so you go ahead and place it on the wrong side of the dress. Okay, now you will stitch it down using half inch. Okay, so when you're done, um, you top stitch it. All right, then you flip it to the right side. So. I'll go ahead and do this. I'll repeat it on the other sleeve, join the sides, give it a good press. And here it is. So we are done with, with this dress. Okay. I love the, I love two things or three things about this dress. One is that it's not excessively big and it's not tight. It's just the way I, I have always wanted it to be. Now the length is super cool. Okay, you can see the turn up on the sleeve is just lovely. I love the colors and the slit on the front is not so deep. Okay, the neckline is not so wide. Everything is just moderate and perfect. The fitting is what I love so much. Now, around the waist, it still has the, the fitting that I wanted. Okay, not minding that we did not take our waist um, measurements. Okay, we didn't mark it. The dress is lovely. I'd like you guys to give this a try and let me know how yours came out. Okay, don't mind my catwalk. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like um, this video, share, leave your comments or your remarks. And as usual, I will definitely attend to all of them. Okay, so till we we'll meet again in my next video. Bye.